Alright, so welcome back to Hero Villain Mashup, where I take one hero, or heroes, or group of hero actually, that's the proper sentence, uh, or villain, or villains, and mash them together to see what would it be like if these two had to face each other off on a regular basis. And this time around, yeah, as you can see from the title, Daredevil and Kano. What would it be like if Kano was one of Daredevil's rogues? Now when you think about it, Kano makes a lot of sense to be uh, an enemy of Daredevil. Because when you think about it, you know, he's a head of a gang, the Black Dragons. He's also, you know, this cutthroat, very uh, bloody, kind of just savage here, a villain. And you may be thinking, well, Daredevil doesn't fight cybernetic characters. He's had a few cybernetic enhanced villains, uh, one of them being Bushwhacker, for one. So, he, Kano makes a lot of sense for this kind of opponent, uh, for being one of Matt's opponents, when you think about it. He makes a lot of sense to be one of... Uh, Matt's opponents. Now, what would it be like if the, if, you know, Kano and the Black Dragons were an enemy of Daredevil? Now, I could see that the Black Dragons trying to move in on Hell's, you know, trying to move in New York and get a foothold in Hell's Kitchen for control, and their attempt, and they would be attempting to, well, first off, they would be trying to attempt to make an alliance with, uh, uh, they're trying to make an alliance with uh, Wilson Fisk, you know, the kingpin. But I don't think Fisk would be going for these guys. I think he would look at the Black Dragons and just be like, okay, these guys are w way too wild, way too aggressive, and they're way, you know, they're they attract too much attention to uh, their operations. So no way in hell am I going to have these guys on my side, you know. So they would probably be like, well, Kano would be like, all right, that's fine. You want to play like that? Okay. We'll uh, we'll take our you know we'll take our business and uh, ruin Hell's Kitchen for you. So not only would they be fighting Daredevil, they'd be fighting you know the Hell's uh, you know they'd be fighting Hell's Kitchen, and with guys like Tremor and uh, you know several other characters in their arsenal, these guys would be a dangerous. Uh, these guys would be dangerous on their own. Uh, Daredevil would be you know Matt would be fighting these guys. The Black Dragons would be are no. Uh, are no stranger to causing a lot, uh, you know, causing a lot of uh, ruckus, and they love collateral damage. So, the uh, you know, Kano, you know, Kano and his goons would be running around, ran just ran, you know, to get the point across. They would just be randomly killing people. You know, kind of imagine it like when the mutants tried to take over Gotham in Dark Knight Returns. It would be the same way with them. You know, the uh, the Black Dragons would be kind of going the same thing, random violence just to upset the order. So Daredevil, you know, Kano, you know, Daredevil. I think Kano would be like, all right, this the, our main problem, you know, is not only Fisk. We also got to look out for Daredevil, you know, this Daredevil guy. And I think Daredevil would be, you know, I think if anything, Daredevil and Kano actually fought. These two would be going blow for blow. While Kano may be this rash and very reckless kind of uh, character, he does have some skill behind him. You know, Kano clawed his way to the top of the Black Dragons for a reason, guys. He, you know, he managed to get that far on his own through, you know, ruthlessness and tenacity as well as he does, you know, he's smarter. Kano may be a loudmouth asshole, but he's smarter than he looks, you know. If anything, he would be like fighting a cybernetic bullseye. This is what it would be kind of like for Matt. He would be fighting like a cybernetic uh, bullseye, and Matt would have to be on his toes constantly when fighting this, when fighting, uh, you know, when fighting this guy, he would be, he would have to keep his wits about this. He would definitely have to keep his wits about uh, encountering someone like Kano. And Kano doesn't, you know, Kano could easily, you know, lead Daredevil into a trap. He could probably figure out real quick, okay, so this Daredevil guy is supposed to be Matt Murdock. All right, uh, who's Matt Murdock's friends? This guy, this fat ass called Foggy Nelson? All right, teach him a lesson. So, yeah. This, yeah, this would be a time period when Matt Murdock and Daredevil, you know, this would be after Civil War where everyone kind of figures, yeah, you're Daredevil, aren't you? So Kano would just look that up and be like, all right, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do this whole life destroy thing for Matt Murdock. I'm just going to go out there and prove that I can kill him. And, you know, I'm not going to, like, play with it, play head games with him. No, I'm going to go out there and curve stomp every friend he's ever had, or anyone who's still alive and, you know, he loves, and I'm going to kill him. And that's probably what it would be like. And also, you know, 
these two, you know, Kano, like I said, wouldn't be into mind games. He would be more like, I'm going to just make sure that you want me to, you know, by the end, when I'm done with you, you'll want me to kill you. And Matt would have to be on his toes constantly. I mean, he would have to, you know, he would have to make sure his, you know, the place where he lives, you know, his apartment or whatever, is not, you know, is not rigged to explode. Everything he has in his house would probably be rigged if, with explosions, you know. If the bomb that, it, when he walks into, the, into his house, doesn't kill him, you know, the bomb rigged to the goddamn fridge might. So... Matt would probably, you know, like I said, Matt would be on his toes if not only just Kano, but the Black Dragons themselves would be, you know, after him. And not only that, you know, he would have to probably fight the likes of Tremor and, oh god, what are the other ones' names? I can't remember the other, you know, top members of the Black Dragons, but yeah. Anyway, so you guys tell me, what do you think it would be like if Daredevil and Kano were enemies? Uh, what do you think that would be like, and how do you think Matt would respond to the Black Dragons themselves and, or, you know, in Hell's Kitchen? But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.